Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome back to my sewing channel, Sew Notes. So I'm back with another sew along and this is for the ladies Sunday romper pattern. Alright, so just to give you a little background before we get into the video, this is my second time filming a video of Come Sew With Me, so I've tried my best. Uh, I did my voice recording a little bit different than the 3T Sunday rompers, so I hope that my voice is a lot more better in this video, and if it is, please let me know, because then I know which direction to take for future Come so Come so With Me videos. So for my Sunday romper, I fit into size 10 on the top portion of the romper and size 6 into the bottom portion in uh, Love Notions patterns. So I graded from a size 10 to a size 6 at the waist. Uh, but in later down in the video, you'll see that I'm having a little bit of fit issues in the back, which I never noticed before because this is my second time. This is my fourth time making the pattern. I made the 2T, I made my version, and then I made my daughter her version, and I made my version. So the steps are roughly the same, but I'm having a little bit of issues with the back on my current version, uh, which I'll show you in the video. Uh, so if you have any tips, please let me know. Other than that, I love the fit of the front. It's just the back that's not working out so great this time around. I used a cotton lycra from Fabric Land, my lo local Fabric Land. And in my version, I surged my edges. For my daughters, I didn't surge the edges because my serger is kind of finicky. And so I didn't want to fuss around with that for my daughters, but for mine, I gave it a try and it worked. So I surged the edges on my romper. Uh, other than that, this is my video. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that I've done a good job with the voice. Uh, please let me know. I will do my best. And if you like these kind of videos, I will, I would love to continue them. Um, just trying to figure out it's all a big learning curve. Filming videos and sewing are two separate things and I'm trying to combine them together and it's a different learning curve for uh, sewing versus making videos. So uh, without any more chatting, uh, here you go. So now we are ready to make our women's Sunday romper. I am making the tank version so we have our tank binding pieces. We need the neckband pieces. This is our shorts front, our shorts back, and our tank front, and our tank back. All right. So print out your proper size, uh, cut out your, tape your pattern pieces together, and get your pattern pieces cut out. And don't forget to mark your notches and we should be ready to go for this. I'll be using some pins. I'll be using a seam, seam gauge, uh, just small pair of scissors to clip, uh, my marking tool. And then I'm really excited for this one because I just got this in the mail. I purchased this. This is the Clover clip and glide bodkin and so I'm really excited to try this out so I'm going to try this out uh, when I do the elastic all right and you'll need some elastic so it calls for half inch elastic but I have three three eighths elastic so that's what I'll be using and let's get started our first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our front and back pieces and we are going to stitch them together along the shoulders and the side seams at a 3 8 seam allowance. So here we go. It 
should you should have it pinned at the shoulders and the side seams and we're going to stitch that a 3 8 seam allowance So your bodice should look like this. For my version, I decided to serge my edges. So I have my zigzag stitch, my zigzag stitch, and I have a serged edge. Sometimes my serger is finicky, so I didn't want to test it out on my daughter's. I decided to test it out on mine. If it ruins mine, it's okay. Uh, but it's working good right now, so I'm going to be zigzagging and stitch surging the edges. You could strictly just zigzag like I did my daughter's, or you could just do a surging stitch too. So, whatever you feel comfortable. Okay, so we have our bodice sewn together. Now we're going to take our uh, shorts pieces and we're going to stitch them. So, let's take our shorts front shorts front and we're going to stitch at the inseam curve there okay make sure you mark all your notches and we're just going to make sure it's it sometimes it's nice to cut with the right sides inside because then it's basically ready uh, to pin when you're done taking your um, all right just pin right there because it's curling a bit all right I'm just pinning down here because my fabric's curling, so if I can control my fabric, I will. Okay, so for this next stitch, we are going to stitch along the curve. I just pin this, but just stitch along the curve 3 8 of an inch. Here we go. Now I stitched and surged this edge, so we'll put that to the side. And now let's grab our back, back pattern pieces. And we're going to do the exact same thing as we're going to stitch that inside curved seam. Okay, so here it is, and we're just going to stitch alongside there. Alright, so now that we got that inside seam stitch, we're going to take our shorts back. This is the back pieces because of that double notch right there. And we are going to stitch the shorts together uh, to the side seam. So right sides together and here is my front shorts and we're going to stitch those sides the seams together at 3 8 and uh, yeah take your time pinning make sure you get it pinned nice and neat matching up those notches make sure they match up
All right, so now that we have our side seam stitched, now we are stitching our inseam piece, which is these small pieces right here. So what I like to do is I like to press or hold my seams. So this seam allowance will be going that way and then this seam allowance will be going that way to create create less bulk at that joining seam. All right, so now that we have that inside seam we are going to take the shorts and the bodice and we're going to stitch them together so we're going to leave the shorts uh, wrong side out take your bodice piece and flip it right side out just like this okay make sure everything's nice and now we look to our notches and that's a double notch so that means that's the back I have my single notches here so I'm looking for the front and this is the front so we're going to turn it like this and we're going to put this in okay so now we're going to match those single and, and double notches and we're going to pin it together, okay? So my daughter's listening to some riding, riding free spirit uh, song there. So you might hear it in the background. But we have our bodice stitched to our shorts, and uh, I got some waviness going on, so I gave it a press off of camera. And now what we're going to do is same thing with our um, uh, girls one is we're measuring three fourths. So three-fourths uh, from that stitching line and I'm going to mark it I'm going to mark it and I'm gonna put pins there too so that I can keep it nice and don't get any bulk of fabric so keeping it nice and flat so do that all the way around and take this to the sewing machine and use a straight stitch and we should be good. So we have our we have our main stitching line, our three fourths stitching line. So now pull the the bodice and shorts apart, and you're going to press the seam up, and then you're going to stitch the top of the seam. So give it a nice press. Get that get that casing up. So 
as I'm pinning, I'm, I have my hand underneath to make sure that I am not creating bubbles while I pin. So now that I have that stitching, I am going to give this a try right on camera so you will see my thoughts on it. Okay. So, is there instructions? Oh yeah, inside. Okay. So, okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so it says lift latch. So this is the latch. So it says lift latch to open clip. Okay, I've opened it. Fully insert elastic end into clip. Okay, so I've opened the latch. Now I'm going to fully insert. Okay. Fully insert, close latch firmly and grasp. Close latch firmly, grasp the last stick. Okay. Okay. So that's all you have to do is open the latch and put your elastic in there. Okay. And pull elastic through casing from pointed ends. So from this end. Okay, well here we go. Let's let's try this live on the video. So here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go. There we go. Yeah, so just, just gently play around at the thicker seams. And I show, oh, here we go, we're at the end, yay! Look how that was. That was really good. Oh, just gotta pull, there we go. Okay. So I'm just, Playing around with it, trying to get it out. Okay. There we go. So now what you're going to do is just adjust your elastic and um, stitch it in place. And yeah, so quick review about this. This is the packaging. Uh, it's the clip and glide bodkin flexible type and I think this is size small I think there is different sizes and the bigger sizes weren't available in my country so I got the size small which as you saw it worked perfectly for my elastic so I'm very happy that I made this purchase I've been sewing for quite some time using elastic or um, using pins, uh, paper clips. Uh, I've. What else have I used? Uh, maybe that's just it. But yeah, this is a good investment. So thanks for watching my little segment on my little purchase there. And let's continue on. So sew your elastic, and I'll meet you back for the next step. So something that I f didn't film was just closing up the casing. So make sure that you, once you insert your elastic, you close up the casing. So now that the elastic part is done, the next part we're going to work on is the neck, neck band. All right, and just like I did with my daughter's jumpsuit, I'm going to direct you to the Love Notions YouTube channel because they have an excellent uh, tutorial on the neckband so i'm going to work on this following the tutorial because i really enjoy watching it and i will see you back for the armholes 
All right, so now that the neckline is done, we are going to be taking our binding pieces. You're gonna fold them right sides together and you're going to stitch along that short end and we'll be right back to attach it to our jumpsuit. Alright, so once you... I did this off camera just to make it a little bit quicker for myself. But once you sew the ends of the binding, you're going to match the, the seam with your side seam. And you're going to pin your binding all the way around and you're going to stitch. Alright, so let's go to the sewing machine and get that stitched. All right, now that you have your binding to your tank, you're going to press it nice and then you're going to understitch. So you're going to stitch the seam allowance right here, the seam allowance to the binding. And then the next step after we understitch is we're going to fold it completely to the other side. And that's what our binding will look like. So here we go. Now that it's understitched and I pinned it to the, the inside, I'm going to use my double needle to stitch the outside. I'm also going to use my double needle on my neckband and my other armhole. So let's go to the sewing machine and use the double needle. Alright, so this is my finished Sunday romper. I This is the size 10 for the bust and I've graded it down to a 6 for the waist and the shorts. So the fit looks really nice on the front, but I think I'm having some sway back issues on the back. So let's take a look at the back. So this is what we're seeing here. So you can see it's kind of looking like that. And this is what it looks like full on back. Okay, I think it just doesn't sit, it's not sitting nice. All right, and that's, so I'm overall happy with this. I will still wear it. I made it twice. I never noticed the back in my dolman sleeve style, but now I'm noticing it with the tank. So I don't know if it's with the tank, but I'm learning so this isn't going to be my last time making this pattern because I really really love this pattern. I will just need to tweak it a bit so the front looks perfect. It's just this part right here. It's not and I thought maybe if I move my elastic. I'm not sure if you have any tips or tricks that you could help me out with for the back portion that would be fantastic if not I might try a sway back adjustment for my next one all right so the front fits really good it's the back that I'm having a bit of issues with so if you have any tips or tricks or I think it might be sway back adjustment I don't know Maybe it's even the width. I'm not sure. Uh, send your tips my way. I I look forward to hearing them. I'm also on this new journey in my sewing, and I'm I'm no longer accepting ill-fitting garments. So what I what what I mean when I say that is I've sewn long enough that I know different techniques. Like I still have lots to learn, but right now I'm really focusing on getting that right fit i'm tired of making stuff that doesn't fit like of course i'm going to still wear this because you can't really see i can't see the issues in the front but of course i want the back to look well too but i'm not gonna put this pattern away and be okay i sewed it i'm done with it 
I want to work towards it and get that perfect, perfect fit. So I'm going to have to tweak around. I might have to buy a little bit of cheaper fabric because I don't want to spend a lot of money on fabric trying to get my perfect fit. But at the end of the day, you have to spend the money. Our, our, our hobbies aren't cheap and so I'm here to learn and show you that I can achieve a perfect fit and so can you. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.